Hi, my name is Stratos. This is the fourth video of the series and we're going to start building our website with the Oxygen Page Builder. For you guys that uh, this is the first video of the series that you are watching, I want to say up in front, please forgive me for any mistakes that I do. English is not my first language. And let's see in the website of Oxygen Page Builder. As you can see here, uh, if you go straight down, you can find customer login. By cl clicking there, you will get inside the portal. And by going download Oxygen, you will see your products that you have bought. And then click view downloads, view details and downloads. And you will see your products. Up in here will be the uh, licenses that I have blurred out for obvious reasons. And we have Oxygen 3.0.1 at this time, Oxygen WooCommerce integration and Oxygen Gutenberg integration. We will see all of those products in this series. So back in our website, no, uh, first in the Oxygen. Uh, if you haven't bought the Oxygen and you want to try, you will find the footer. A button that says try oxygen and if you click it you will find yourself in a staging environment with the black install as you can see here and the oxygen page builder will be inside for you to try so if you haven't bought it you can follow along all those steps that I'm going to do and see for yourself what the this tool can do uh, so let's wait for this to to open black install I choose here and this is the the staging environment and as you can see it says that by default it will be deleted seven days after your last login so you can keep this uh, URL and use this to re-enter if you want to try something else or continue with your project but uh, after seven days it will be deleted so let's close this and let's go back to our website. Now we have building the stratos tutorial.com. Uh, here I'm on the themes and I'm going to delete two of those. Uh, of course, we know that uh, once uh, the oxygen page builder is uploaded, it will take over and the themes will be disabled. But I do like to delete uh, all of those. I cannot delete all of those. I cannot. I can just leave one. For security reasons, I don't want uh, any themes here. Okay, if they find a, a bug in 2019, I don't know if they can use it and hack my site. So for security reason, I will delete everything and leave 2019 in the next version of WordPress when uh, 5.4 comes up. They will have 28. 2020 so I would leave 2020 if I had the opportunity so let's go to plugins install plugins you will see we have nothing here we will click add new and then we're going to upload and we're going to search for oxygen so let's go oxygen and this is the oxygen page builder so I'm going to install it and let's go and review some settings that we have already changed or not I will go for black install so in posts in a previous video uh, I had deleted all the posts, but I did uh, reset the website. So let's go and delete that again. Okay, for pages, we have only the privacy policy and the sample page. Sample page. I will leave it for now. In uh, plugins, we have only Oxygen Page Builder, as you saw, and in settings, general. I have already told you that here we have an HTTP and here in the URL we have an HTTPS. This will uh, produce an error in the oxygen, but I leave it as it is so you, so you can see the error 
and if you came up with that you know what you can do uh, okay so in permalinks always put here post name this is the most important one i don't know why oxygen keeps leaving all those things i don't know if anyone use any of that only post name is the 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 one that you must choose for a seo okay and let's go to pages and we will create some pages just to create a, a, a menu okay and let's start by home page okay I will hit publish twice then we need a contact publish publish twice okay then we need an about us page and let's un add a uh, services these are the most common pages that you can find in any website okay and let's go now to appearances and menu menus okay we will create a menu now this is exactly what you want to put in here I always start with a main menu this is what I always choose but this is personal okay you can add anything you like you can add first name you can add a main menu of the website you can add a phrase anything that you want but keep in mind that if you are that uh, we are going to add for sure uh, two or three menus so you have to choose something that you can remember okay the menu that goes in the footer usually is named footer okay but all of those it's something that you must choose choose something that you can separate all the menus one to another and be consistently about that if you build websites for your clients always choose the same names to know what you are doing and not searching every time for what what it's what okay so let's go and create the main menu and we're going to add services about us contact and home we're going to rearrange the order by dragging and dropping the services is the third and contact is the fourth and we're going to create a sub page by dragging the services a little bit to the right okay once it will go here it will be a sub page of the about us okay and let's go and save the menu so back to oxygen templates add a new template and this is where we are going to create our first template now again as we said with the menu this is something that you must choose and I think it's better to stick with it again I do create a main template and I know that the main template it's my header and the footer you can also name it all pages or header and footer or something else but please be consistent about that keep the names in every website that you create with the same uh, way so you know what you are dealing with so I will hit publish twice but first I am going to choose uh, where this template will be executed so let's go to other and catch all this means that every web page everything that will load post or anything else will grab this template I will hit publish and now I have the opportunity to edit with the auction builder Okay, so once inside the Oxygen Builder, I would like to take a moment to talk about the structure. As you will see here inside is the page that you are going to build. Here at the left, we have a bar and we can add features and uh, sections and all of those things, all the to that uh, tool will get us. And also we will have the opportunity to change everything that we add to the page once we click it. 
and at here we can add also a bar that will have the structure or we can view you can view the settings and we're going to see in the next videos what we can do with that so we will start the template with the header builder if you're familiar with the auction page builder there are different ways that you can build the header row okay you can try adding a section or a div you cannot and uh, add all of those things inside but the uh, the reason that we add the header builder and the reason that oxygen has created a header builder it's because uh, it gives us the opportunity to be uh, to to get advance of this element and uh, do some stuff more easily so we have the start vertical below hide row below background color display only on uh, so in sticky we have things that we can use for the specific head row and it's easier to be found this is also the reason that we use columns and columns are are just uh, divs okay you can build the structure of a column with by adding two or three divs this is the exactly the same reason you can add columns and then go ahead and Inside the columns, we'll find some things, some tools that you can find easier inside the columns by instead of going to CSS in the divs. I hope I haven't confused you. Okay. And okay, so by hitting here that it says structure, we will get the structure, and you we can see that uh, body is the whole web web page. Okay whatever we can see in the page is body and let's go for the header builder we have some settings here and then row left row center and row right so imagine that we have three columns left center right here and right and then we can add here our elements let's go first by adding a link wrapper link wrapper is uh, essentially uh, something that we can click and go to another location it's a link we can add it uh, anywhere in the page and inside the link wrapper we can add anything we want we can add images text icons buttons uh, divs there's no limitation okay link wrapper is a box if I can say and we can add anything that we want inside so let's go for a link wrapper and then inside that we will add an image so as you can see here we have the link wrapper and inside that we have an image inside the image we're going to upload a logo okay let's go for documents and here i will find my logo okay logo so at this point the logo is named logo M but I don't like that I want to rename it for SEO and I will name it logo or you can name it Stratos Tutorials logo let's click open and as you can see here an error occurred please try again later and this is because I have the wrong URL in the settings let's go to add the menu we will try to add the menu and we'll see if we get also there an error message let's go for menu okay and I will add it to my to the right and let's go for the main menu and as I can see it said security check so we will leave this place I will not save it I will go to the settings <coughs> and I will add here an S and an S here as you can see now this is the same as the URL of the website and I will click save so if you get an error here you can first check these settings 
and then you can disable if it doesn't fix that you can disable all the plugins or go to the settings and uh, do a regeneration of the CSS cache or uh, sign all the short codes we will see we will see all of that in uh, a video later on but if you have any problem go to the settings go to the security and sign all short codes okay click here that says sign all short codes I have complete backup my site and start short code signing process okay let's go back to our templates we haven't uh, saved it so it will be blank let's go and edit it and let's go again for the page builder sorry header header builder header builder okay and then inside here we will add a link wrapper and an image and I will hit browse and select this one okay now for title I want the logo to be named Stratos Tutorials logo okay uh, everything that you put in here should be also copied here always use the alternative text this is for SEO purposes and we will select the image okay so uh, I want to say something about the area and why I named the logo Stratos Tutorials logo and not just logo aria is double r I think aria HTMLs is one r it's one r okay this is aria accessibility uh, it's uh, instructions and what you can do with your website to help people that they have vision uh, disadvantage and they cannot see well or they cannot see at all and help them interact with your website this is something that it's not very popular but I think this is my personal opinion that Google will favorite sites that will promote this will uh, uh, do things about that and in one or two years we will have directions from Google to use all of those things so I want you to try to be in front of my age okay and uh, I want to give you some directions about that if a uh, a person that has a vision disability comes to your website he will use a screen reader and it will basically read everything from here of course the image cannot be written so it will say uh, whatever we have in alternative text and it will not be just logo it will be stratos tutorials logo okay so for me it's something better than just logo if you want you can put just logo here but do not leave the name that it came along with your picture it's not good for your SEO let's go to our menu and we're going to add the menu here and let's go for helpers and menu or you can just type menu here no it's in WordPress menu and let's go to structure and we will see that the menu is inside the linger wrapper which inside the row left and we will grab it and we'll drag it and drop it to our row right so this is a standard format that we can see in the most page builders in the mo in most of the of the websites okay logo to the left and our menu to our right and we're going to style a little bit the menu here I will just click save I often use the save button so let's go first to the picture and let's reduce the width to 200 I think it's a little bit big 180 it's a little it's a little better okay let's go and click save and we're going to click oh uh, since we're here I want to go to the link wrapper and I want to add in a URL uh, most people will add this stratustutorials.com which exactly fine it will work very well 
okay if I save this page and add it and uh, go in the front end to view it. Okay, now I'm at services. If I go here, I will be in the home page. Okay, this is perfectly fine, but for me, it's better practice to just type the slash by uh, adding just the slash here. This is a, a URL that it's called dynamically URL and not static URL. So, not dynamically, sorry, a relative URL, sorry. It's a relative URL. So basically, if you decide one day to change your domain name and from stratostutorials.com, I may choose to go for wordpresstutorials.com. Uh, so I can move my entire website and all the URLs will work because they are not uh, strictly to the domain. Okay, they are just the following ones. So if I leave it right here, I will can click save, go to the front end, refresh the page, go to the contact and go and click here and I will get to the home page. So it, it's working just as the same. But for me, it's uh, something to do. Uh, uh, we can use tools to change the URLs, but it's better practice for me. I do it all the time. I use relative uh, URLs when I have the chance. So let's go to the menu. I will click once here. And as I can see, I have the uh, the letters in blue. I have here a hover color, background color. I have this line in blue when I hover. And we're going to change all of those. So let's first choose main. Of course, it's the same menu because it will grab everything that we have. Uh, if we have only one and let's go for text here and the color will be black font size I think at this time is 17 yeah and we will change that by using the settings in the manage and global styles now these global styles are for the entire website it's very good uh, that the oxygen builder has that and this time only the breezy page builder has it and I think it's awesome that they do have it okay so we can go to colors and choose our global colors let's go and add two colors here we will go for a blue that it's like this so let's go for a blue something about here and I can add the name dark blue or yeah let's go for dark blue dark blue and now for light blue I will copy this and then just made it a little bit lighter Okay, and for fonts, let's go in the body text and we will use 17 here, not 107, 17. So I will save that and I will use my rest of the settings in a later video. Okay, I don't want here to put some more content, it will be a long video. Uh, this one so let's go back to our menu and we're now on text as you can see i have changed it to black and let, let's go now to our spacing this is the spacing that we have between the letters between not the letters between the every page okay between the home and the about us so if i go here and add 30 i will get uh, here a bigger <coughs> separator, a bigger area between those two pages. Let's go for hover and if I hover here I will get a black uh, color. So hover text color I want to be this uh, blue and for hover background color I don't want anything so I will just remove this 
Okay, hover board and top. This is the hover that you get here, the line here. I will remove it. If you want, you can put something else or put a bottom line so you have this effect. But I want to remove it. Active text color, it will be this blue again. And active background color, it will be empty. So this is how the menu will be displayed. Okay, let's go and save it again. Let's go back and go to drop downs. Now, here we have the drop downs as you can see the services. And I do want to enable the drop downs and I do want to show the drop down drop downs arrow. Okay, if I don't use this, you can see how it looks, but I want to the visitor to know that uh, beneath the about us has something else. Background color. I want to change it to a little bit of a little different from just the white, so it separates from everything else. But not here, not just that. Let's go for a lighter color. Okay, this is better. Let's go for thirty-six. Yeah, I will go for that. And here, link color, I, if you can see, when I hover to About Us, the services is blue, it's not black. So I will go to link color and I will go for blank. So now I have the black color. But if I hover to the services, I want it also in blue. So I'll go here to link hover color and I will go for the global colors and the blue. Okay, I will save it. And let's go again to my settings and color because I hadn't add the second one. Okay, add a color, light blue, add color. Okay, save. And now as you can see, the services when I hover will become blue. This is some, something more like it. And this is the mobile responsive so uh, basically in your left side here you will have an icon of a computer and if I click here I will find all the page sizes and I can see how the page is displayed in all of those. We will use it in every single page, in every single arc template and everything that we're going to create. Okay, this is a very important feature. Uh, all the page builder have something in similar with that because uh, statistically speaking more visitors will come to your website from a mobile phone by th rather than an actual uh, desktop laptop or something else so you have always want to you want always to check your website how it looks from a, a, a mobile phone now let's go for the page container 100, 120 in pixels and below. And as you can see here, the menu, we will go into a hamburger menu. Now, since I have only three or four items in the menu, I want to check that the mobile menu will not go at this point. So I will put less than 992 and I have the menu uh, for this size of the screen. Let's go for the less than 992. 992 and I can see that here we have the menu icon and in all of those settings I will get the same so let's go for less than 992 and let's go and uh, style this icon here's the icon size from 30 40 that it's now I will go for 30 it's a little bit less no 30 35 Okay, margin above and below, it's the margins and here and here. So basically, uh, what's the difference between margin and padding? Of course, uh, there are people that know that, because, but because I want to create a series for uh, for people that are starting using the OSGE Builder, I want to include everything. So basically, if I have an icon here, the margin is the space outside the box. Okay, as you can see here, the lines. These are the lines of the link wrapper. The margin is the space outside the links and the padding is the space inside those uh, lines. 
okay, think it as a box and whatever is outside the box is marking, whatever is inside the box is padding. Uh, we will do an example later and you will see what the difference is. But think it as outside and inside space. Okay, icon color, this is black and I like it as it is. I can hover color, I can go for that, but I don't think it matters anyway because no one can hover in a tablet or a mobile phone. This screen 992, there are some, uh, there may be some uh, uh, computers that have these uh, dimensions in the screen. I don't think about it, but there may be a case that someone has something like that so I don't really care about the hover color here and we're here okay so icon styles padding color and padding hover color it's the color inside here let's go and see it okay as you can see this is the padding color I will remove it and when you hover what your a color we will be for the background let's go for the next one menu styles and this is when you click it you have the background color here I will leave it to white link text color these are the links and when you hover we have this blue I will not change anything of that you can you know how to change by now but I don't want to change anything at this point and then we have the drop out drop downs sorry and here we can include the services page underneath the about us okay when when I click this I will get the services underneath the about us now here we have a problem okay let's go for not including let's go for save and we're going to our uh, our blisk uh, browser this is a, a browser that you can download for free and it's very good to see how it looks in the in a, a mobile phone because basically when you do sorry let's go for this one when you do uh, view the page in uh, a little window you can see how it looks but it's not exactly uh, how it looks in the mobile phone okay it kind of uh, adapts the environment but it's not how it looks so if I go here and include the drop downs link in include the drop downs list in the response mobile view, I will click save and let's go and see how it looks here. See here you can see the services. And let's go for the blisk and refresh Stratos Tutorials. Okay. This is because I had it opened a long time. Let's go and open it again. Blisk. Okay, so <laughs> premium trial has ended. I will have to create an account so I can use it for free. And let's go and do that. I will pause the video and come back to you in a second. Okay, I will leave Blisk at this point because I have I have left it open two days or three, I I think, and I am now at the mobile test me website, and let's go for Apple iPhone five. This is it was a good site once, but they have uh, left behind the updates, and they have not any new webs new devices here. Let's go and grab our URL and we're going to paste it here. And as you can see here, the website looks like this. So I don't want the services to be displayed every time. But if I go here and disclude this from the menu, then I have no way to go to the services from a mobile phone. Okay, so let's go and refresh the page. And as you can see here, I do not have a services page. Now, a solution to that, if you go to your 
Google, if you go to your browser and type Oxygen Mobile Menu Subdomains, sub pages, sorry, sub, or sub menu, sub menu. Uh, you will find this is the second uh, result oxygen mobile sub menu and temporary fix so this is a fix that uh, one person the let's go and see who it is okay this is david brown i hope i'm uh, pronouncing that correctly and thanks for david he created a tool that we can do exactly that okay and for sure he's acknowledging that the oxygen doesn't have it and this is as he says here a Persian solution and we can disable this plugin once oxygen will add this in the official uh, plugin so you can go here and click clone or download and download the zip file I have already downloaded of course I have always uh, this tool in my library so let's go for the plugins And let's go to plugins, add new, and I will upload the plugin that I have already downloaded. Okay, WordPress plugins oxygen and this is the one mobile sub menu master install it now you will have just to install it and activate it now if i go back to my oxygen and refresh it let's go save and refresh it's not necessary to refresh i think it will grab the settings automatically but let's go and refresh the page and go to the menu again mobile responsive drop downs and i will include the drop downs links i will click save and let's go for this and let's go and hit again the refresh okay and as you can see here i have here an arrow that i can click and i will get the services this is what i want so thanks again to david for creating this plugin and helping us with this problem of the oxygen page builder Okay, so I think I'm done for some re for an, uh, some reason I don't get the about us uh, drop down. So drop down are you here, and I'm good to go. Uh, this is the menu for the moment. I will of course create another menu, style it a little bit different, create some effects and some other effects, and we will see something different here. Now, next one we will add a section. Uh, what a section is? Basically, a section is an entire area in uh, the page that is uh, speaking for the same thing. Let's go to the Apple website. And I'm not, I'm not promoting Apple, but I just do like the website. So uh, as we are in here, we can see the iPhone 11 Pro. And from here to here, we have the section. This section is about iPhone 11 Pro. This section from here to here is about iPhone 11. This section is about the watch, the iWatch. And these sections have gallery. This section has gallery. Okay, so a section is basically something that you add content for the same reason. Here we have the header, the text, CTA or uh, click to action. And all of those are in the same section. So this is why we use sections now uh, here we can use a section and inside that go for the inner content inner sorry double n inner content and the inner content inside the section now uh, something that I want to say up in front in most cases let's go and delete that in most videos, I think also in Oxygen, you will use that they they do not use a section for the inner content. They use just the inner content and they put everything inside here and then we have the footer out, out, out here. 
Uh, this is a good practice to do, but if you want to get the area that we told before, we have to use the main HTML tag in the page. So I do use the section and then inside the section I use the inner content, but that is just for the pages. If I want to create a website that has only some pages and a black and nothing more. Uh, the problem is if you use the main tag, uh, then you don't want to inside the tag to put uh, what can I say sidebars. Okay, you don't have you don't want to put anything that will be repeated in another page. So if you are going to build a WooCommerce or you're going to build a blog that has a sidebar, then you should not do the inner content inside the section or you can do it with another way i don't know if i want to show you that if you all if you do want to see it i don't want to confuse you anymore if you do want to see it please add it in the comment and i'm sure i will create a video how you can do that so basically i would just go for the inner contact if i wasn't going to create something uh, simple as a, a blog and i would was creating something more advanced so in a contact is uh, in most cases what you would need and this is where the all the page will be displayed and then you are going for a section let's go for a section and this is our footer now the reason why i left the pages sample page is here I can put sample page and I can see here the content or I can put privacy policy and I can see how the content will be displayed. Okay, and inside here I can go ahead and create my footer. So this section I will put here a tag footer. Okay, this is the main tag that I was talking about before. This is the, the tag that I am going to use for that footer. And let's go and go ahead and put the background color of the footer to be something with uh, similar to black okay like that and inside here i will add some columns as i said before you can add the same layout by adding two divs but then you do not have this capability uh, so easy to find just by clicking inside your uh, columns and inside columns i will add some text for now i will style the footer later on because at this point already the video is 42 minutes and it will go up to an hour i think okay so let's go for some uh, text let's go for white and now here i want to say uh, some problems let's go and remove the the content here and as you can see now since i don't have the content the footer will come up straight to the top okay i will fix it later on but i want to show you something as you can see here the page is right about here this is the width that we have in the page we will see in a later video how we can change that this is the width that we have at this moment and the footer will start from here that it's not correct the this uh, text should be all the way up to here okay try to be consistent with the margins okay wherever the logo starts the same area should be the text the same area should be everything that you have in the page of course you can style it and give it something different in some sections but in most case scenario you should have everything start in the same spot and the the text should be always end at the very end of here okay so here we have a margin or a padding we will see what we have here let's go for the section first okay not the section the columns first sorry and let's go advanced and sizing and let's go for a zero padding okay now that we have zero the padding here let's go for the div advanced sizing and spacing and let's go for a zero padding 
and now the content is right here. This is the correct one. And now we can go back to our privacy policy and get some text right here. So basically I want the inner content to have a minimum height. Okay, minimum height. This is the inner content. I am now at the sizing and spacing and I go for minimum height to 70 and this is the view height VH means that the page view okay and this is uh, something that will vary depending on the page that the visitor will come okay if he has a resolution in his screen that it's 2k it's a little bit different than someone has 4k resolution let's go for a services page here and as you can see here the footer will stay right there I will remove a little bit I will go for 68 no I will go for 65 yeah it's a little bit better but let's go and resize this a little bit okay I don't want to be the footer too long so let's go again to inner content and let's go here for 70 okay 72 save it so basically now the footer will always stay there uh, regardless if we have here contact or not we can have here only one or two pages on one or two lines sorry but the footer will stay at the bottom of the page okay let's go again to our footer we will add later on here uh, some social icons and we will style style them and all of those things I don't want to make the video longer than what it always what it already is and I hope I'm not I haven't confused you by going to one thing and another there are too many things that I wa want to discuss and I do want to say some things inside this video but because I don't want to change anything in later on so the last thing that I want to show you here is the inside the settings and global styles it's this the page width okay this is 1120 and this is the width that we have from the beginning of the logo until the end of our menu this line here so this is the width that we have the box width this is how the layout is called let's go back to Apple this is the width from here to here okay if I go somewhere that has text from here to here and as you can see the lines are correct here and they are also correct here and of course here okay so be consistently about that use the same margins and paddings and try to follow the lines let's go to another one TV iPad let's go for iPad we will see that this is the box width okay but the image of course is expanding from here to here so uh, this is no no this is a better uh, example you can use the width to see how it looks like right here okay of course this is an effect it's not uh, exactly how they have set it up but you can see this is the width that we are going to get now uh, you can use any number that you want I usually go for one uh, 1200 and basically you want something less than 136 uh, if you go for the laptop screen resolution resolution okay you will see that the most cases uh, most laptops that the visitors will use will have a, a dimension a screen resolution 1366 wide width so this is the pixels that we get in a, a certain in an every in every row okay we can use we can see up to 1366 pixels so you should use a number less than that so every visitor will uh, see the website as it is the same and of course if you want 
here and here some space, you should use a number that's below. And I think 1200 is a very good number to use. Okay, it's up to you. You can use anything you want. Uh, if you see when I change this, it will change the area here and the area here. Let's go for 1000. And as you can see here, we have a bigger, bigger uh, blank space. And let's go for 1200 again. I will click save. And let's go and refresh and see what we are right now. So this is the template that we have built at this moment. This is a basically to see how we you can build something. It's not the template that we're going to use. But we have too many options to see in one video. And since I want, I want to go deep in every tutorial, in every video, I have to uh, choose what I what I have to display to show you. Okay, uh, now I am confused. <laughs> Sorry for that. Uh, I was thinking that I had something else to show you. Yeah, uh, the last one is a setting that we should change once we have the home page. Let's go for settings and reading. And now we want the home page to be a static page that is called home. So whenever someone goes to our website, he will see the home page. Okay. So that's all for the first video. First video while building the website. Okay. It's not the first video of the series, but it's the first video that we actually using the oxygen page builder. Uh, I hope it wasn't too confusing. Please, if you have any comments, any questions, or you want to see something else, add the comments below, and I'm sure I will add it uh, in the video, in the videos. Thanks for watching, guys. I will see you all in the next video.